in the house. Lincoln Middle School, 8th grade. You all just finished your test on safe and matter. But now we're gonna get down to what really matters. And that's matter. It goes a little something like this. Don't let your mind get scattered. Everything is made of matter. Taking up space, but does it really matter? Everyone cut the chatter, and let me break it down to the smallest particles in the whole town. We call it atoms, can't get any smaller than that. A very dense center is where the nucleus is at. They come in different sizes, small, medium, or large, made of three different particles, each with a different charge. Protons a particle as a matter of fact. The hard charge is there, they need sky to attract. The number of protons defines the element. We've got two, it's helium, we've got eight, it's oxygen. Finding the number of protons is easy, I know you're able. Just check the number on the top of the periodic table. What's the number called? You might wonder. I'll tell you, it's called the atomic number. Your mind gets scattered, everything is made of matter. Taking up space, but does it really matter? Everyone cut the chatter, and let me break it down to the smallest particles in the whole town. The electron cloud surrounds the nucleus. I know you already know it because you're very studious. Then it's electrons are on the outermost level. Atoms again to lose electrons, so they don't get to shuffle. When this happens, we call it an ion. This occurs when two atoms form a chemical bond. A positive ion is lost an electron. A negative ion means it's gained an electron. The last particle that we have to learn is called a neutron. So please don't get bored. Neutrons are particles with no electric charge. If you're looking for the number, you don't have to look far. It's equal to the protons we mentioned in the past. Have to both together to find the atomic mass.